Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Pierre Gasly, who slammed teammate Esteban Ocon after the pair crashed in Monaco. Now Alpine had their best qualifying this season, with them going 10th and 11th. And on a track where it's near impossible to overtake, that result sets them up to at least score a crucial point this season, but things went very wrong on that one. With Ocon going for a dive down the inside of his teammate at Portier, with their wheels interlocking. This sent Ocon into the air and in turn out of the race due to damage, while Gasly's car was also damaged. Luckily Gasly could continue and went on to secure a point for the team, but he was not happy with Ocon, who has admitted that he was at fault for the incident. Gasly said, It was very unnecessary, you should never have such a situation, especially between teammates. Just sad, disappointed with the situation. Especially, we had clear instructions before the race on what to do, and whoever qualified ahead, the trailing car was supposed to help throughout the race. That was the strategy, unfortunately it didn't happen, we definitely need to speak because we can't afford it, especially in a season like that. Now for me I do feel that the move was a bit silly from Ocon, I know overtaking is limited in Monaco and the best chance to overtake is on that one. But to go for a lunge in such a tight part of the track, especially on your teammate, is not the best move to pull, especially when it almost costs helping crucial points. Now also on the first lap, we saw an incident between Carlos Sainz and Oscar Piastri. Basically Sainz had initially picked up a puncture after a clash with Piastri at the first corner and his car skidded to a halt and appeared to be out of the race at Casino Square. This moved Lando Norris up into third but because of a red flag at the restart Sainz was able to start the race from P3 again and went on to stay there. This is because F1 sporting regulations say that the order for the restart will be taken at the last point at which it was possible to determine the position of all cars and it goes on to say that all such cars will then be permitted to resume the sprint session or the race. And because not all cars had run through the first timing sector before the red flag, the FIA determined that the order at the safety car line 2 had to be used for the second attempt to get going. And Norris was not happy about this, with him saying, I don't think it's the most fair thing, but I'm sure there's been moments in the past where maybe I've been fortunate from it and they could have fixed the car a little bit or something like that. When you think of it in just a blunt way, it's frustrating and unfair. That because someone makes a mistake, and because of a certain amount of cars or whatever, whatever the rule is, didn't cross the line before the red flag and blah blah, that he gets to undo that mistake and gets a free pit stop. It's unfair. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and until the next one, take care, bye.